Hello YouTube. I've been uh, collecting comics for about a year now. I've been watching all your videos, people posting on YouTube, and uh, I don't have a whole lot of comic books, but what I have is, well, I like it. A lot of these comic books I picked up just because I didn't have anything like this when I was younger. And um, what happened was um, when they came out with Spider-Man 700, I thought, what do you mean Peter Parker's dead? What? I mean, you leave Spider-Man alone for 25 years and they kill him? What's going on? So I had to look up on the internet and find a comic shop. Drive all the way down here. It took about 30 minutes to drive there. Of course, I couldn't find one closer. I just happened to find it. I just went to the first one I found. And uh, bought me that issue. And I talked to the, uh, you know, comic dealer that was there. And explained to me what was going on. And, and uh... After the initial shock of what the comic book cost, <laughs> and when I bought comic books, they were like 35 cents, I think that was, you know, they were cheaper than that when I started, but, um, you know, all these Iron Mans you see here, and Tales of Suspense, and Fantastic Fours, and I didn't know anything about these comics when I was a kid. You know, they didn't have these on the wall. So, when I got back into it about a year ago, I, and I, I didn't start with these. I started with what I knew. I pulled out my Thors. I had my original Simons and Thor run, missing maybe a couple of books. So the first thing I did was go out and just replace those couple of books that for some reason weren't in there. Made that collection complete. And then I started, you know, thinking about what I used to like and... I liked Iron Man, and uh, you know those Judge Dredd there. Those are original books I had from back in the day. They're not original books, but they're original here in the United States. They're reprints of British comics. They're original. They were in my box also. But everything you see on the wall here, everything I've gotten in the last year. But I ran out and I remembered uh, which Spider-Mans I used to like. and So I started off buying, you know, those. You know, around the 250 marks when the Hobgoblin appeared. And there's, uh, well, there's, there's my 238 complete there. But, uh, you know, I bought those all off the stand, you know. And those were just, just awesome books. But uh, I didn't have them all anymore, so I had to go back out, and, and I started with those, finding the ones I liked. I liked all those Hobgoblin issues, so I bought those again. And, you know, as I was going, there's that 700 up there. But as I, you know, I've been visiting online and YouTube and watching what everyone else is collecting, and man, I thought back and I thought, man, why didn't they have any of this stuff on the wall where I was going. The place I went to was a real tiny little place. It was within walking distance. So naturally at the time, you know, I was like 14, 15 years old, 83 or so. And, um, you know, that's the only place I really could go at for with any frequency, so. That is, where I went, and I had, you know, can only get what was there. They had X-Men's on the walls, so that was always something I wanted, and I've, quite frankly, I had a lot of those. And, uh, you know, at some point in my life, I sold all those comic books to somebody. And, uh, 
But I didn't sell them all. I still got my Thors and a few other little ones here and there. Which made me happy. Which made me able to really jump back in. Because it's not like I had nothing. I could, I could pull out a few here and there that I still had when I was younger. This is my room here. This is just where I sleep and I have my computer. I have other rooms. This is uh, this is my fun room. I build models and got my giant sizes on the wall here. Yeah, I love the giant sizes. And over here, I got some war comics. Some of my favorite stuff. I really like the war comics. And Johnny Cloud and Lieutenant Savage, Battleground, GI Combat. Gotta love it. Tank on every cover. ETA Nick said that in one of his videos, and yeah. Pretty much got a tank on every cover. Great, great, great series there. Star Spangled War Stories. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Enemy Ace. And a four star battle. It's a reprint of older comics, but God, the cover's nice. Love that Warbird there. I like these old Charlton comics, you know, they, I don't know, if it's not, I guess it's because they're not so popular, but, uh, I certainly like them. That one's in real nice shape. Weird War, great stuff. As you can see, I got some of these books cheap, you know, that one's missing some chunks here and there, but such a cool cover, I had to get it. He died three weeks ago. Yeah, he knows. Sergeant Rocks. I'm pretty much zeroing in on things I I like now after about a year. And uh you know I bought anything I could get my hands on. Kind of books. Panthers, Fantastic Four, not a whole lot of everything, just trying to get back into the hobby, trying to see what looks good, you know, these are a little more newer comics here, these are more of my, these are newer, these are 90s comics, kind of strange, but I thought they were pretty neat, I've got a few of those. Iron Man's nice stuff. Vader's Judge Dread. Spider Man. Yeah. Good stuff. I've got one second appearance there. Hulk. Thor's. Got a lot of the new the new Thor run is really nice. We did a good job with that. Batman's. You know. Just my experiment on what to get, what to check out. Having a little fun my first year. But, uh, like I said, I have other interests. Hobbying is one with uh, model making. I'm building a Bell 47 helicopter right now. And I don't know if you can see it down there. I've got some war games. Panzer. No retreats. Ardennes. Bad leader stuff. You know, I like books. 
science fiction, those Western books, those were my dad's. Old Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Mm, got a little bit of everything. Little airplanes. Those are from one of the games I have. Some models up there. One of my dad's medals. But, well, just a little sneak peek of what's going on here. Um, I'll probably make some videos of maybe some hauls and uh, certainly some things, you know, that interest anyone or anyone wants to see any of these books close up or I know the war books, uh, one of my favorites. So I'll probably start with something like that. Okay. There you go. That's my first video. Hope it was fun. It certainly was fun for me. And I'll see you next time. All right, bye.